uh, Spuddy with Jimmy Cottrell. Uh, I'm at Kiowa High School and I am the new athletic director of the year. Incredibly instrumental, the team that you know that I work with. Um, being a small school, so I'm out of, out of 1A school. Uh, we have about 70 kids in the entire high school. All three schools, elementary, middle school, and high school are all on the campus. Uh, so the team is, uh, is really me, my secretary, uh, Patty is Patty, who uh, I would be lost without, uh, and then a couple of handful of parents that you know, dedicate their time and are willing to help us kind of put everything together and, and get things running. My family is, is probably the most important thing to me. Um, I have uh, come from a non-traditional background family, so it's really my, my father is you know, first and foremost, best friend, closest confidant, uh, biggest ally. Um, also, you know, one that uh, will, will give me a kick in the pants when, when, when needed, um, and I think uh, this year in particular, um, he's been you know somebody that I can lean on, uh, you know, kind of kind of cry to when I when I when I need to, and uh, but also the one that's also and always throughout my life has been you know kind of get back up on the horse or you know pick yourself up and, and get to work and put your head down and keep going, and uh, that has been been incredibly instrumental you know this year and in, in getting things going. Proudest accomplishment this year uh, would be bringing back football. So when I was hired. Um, our school, Kiowa, we dropped down from eight-man football to six-man football. Uh, I got hired two weeks before the football season began and we didn't have a, a schedule. <laughs> um, so that was my first priority. Um, and it was incredibly rewarding to see the community respond, you know, after having a year without Friday Night Lights. Um, even though it was a change, you know, eight-man to six-man, um, it was amazing to see the community respond and come out and support you know, our kids. And we had a great year, you know, even though we weren't eligible for playoffs. Um, but just to bring that back and how important it was to not only the kids, but the community was was pretty rewarding. That was probably the best, the highlight of the year so far. I, I, more than anything, I want to be remembered as, as just somebody that operated with integri integrity um, and class. You know, I think that's one of the things that I'm really trying to bring to, to Kyle. Not that it didn't exist before, um, but I think anything that we do or that represents our school and our community needs to be done first class. Um, you know, with the highest of integrity and, and holding a high standard. Um, and that's what I hope, you know, people think of me, you know, that 200 years when I'm you know, dead and gone that, you know, operate with integrity. Kata, you know, um, for awarding me uh, as the new athletic director of the year. Um, definitely want to say a big thank you to um, Bart Stevens, who's my mentor and also provided a letter of recommendation through the nomination process, and uh, Rick Carruthers, who was a former AD, one of my current coaches now. Um, I rely heavily on him. If, if Rick wasn't around, I wouldn't have an athletic department. Um, Miss Patty, my, my assistant, huge thank you to her. She's keeping me alive and keeping me, you know, my head above water. Um, and then just a uh, uh, thank you to my family. 